And now a first look at the new season of Mama June Family Crisis. Last season on Mama Jean. Mama's home! Mama shocked us all and broke up with Gino. I just think we're just too toxic for each other. I'm out. We were happy he was out of our lives, but my focus was my family. We just had baby Bentley. We're so cute. Jessica was sleeping on the couch, so we had five mouths to feed. And me and Josh were also <laughs> trying to deal with Alana having a boyfriend. <laughs> Even though things were crazy around the house, with Mama single and sober, I thought maybe she'd finally put us girls first. What are doing? But even when good things happened, what? this is the times that you've been missing out on. Mama couldn't be without a man. You're seriously leaving her? Yeah. Oh, my God. So she took off to find one. Here's one guy. Here's another guy. Newly single Mama Jean spoils secret boyfriend with cars and rent. In the meantime, we got some unexpected news. There's going to be two more. And we welcome twin babies into our family. Then we found out Mama jumped into a relationship and moved right down the road from us. Pumpkin, this is Justin. Why does he look like Sugar Bear? What the f happened to his teeth? The drugs? F you. Lana can stay here. I'm her mama now. I don't want to move with my mama. I'm just fine here. I wasn't going to let Mama tear my family apart. There's no room for your mama in my life anymore. So Josh and I lawyered up and asked for custody of Alana. Yep, brother. I couldn't believe she signed the paper so quickly. What happened next in the lawyer's office? We're going to have to have a child support order about 2000 a month. I don't agree to that. No, I don't. Changed our relationship forever. I'm going to tell you, this is some pumpkin asking for child support. You'd rather all the money go to the men, Mama. That's how it's always been. She'd rather get her boyfriend some new teeth than pay child support. So we took her to court, and she was ordered to pay only $800 a month. That's insane, though. She crossed the line with me, and I am done dealing with Mama Jean's drama. I know it's going to affect Alana. I think that's a lot of money for somebody to come off. You want to fight? Let's fight. I don't really give a f anymore. She has no clue what kind of trauma she's caused us. And she just thinks that she's just going to be welcome back. I don't know if that'll ever happen. Quit jumping on the bed. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Peanut butter? You want to hold that for me? Do not fall backwards and slam your head on the floor, dude. Lana! Hold on! I'm coming! Is she poo poo? No poo poo. She smells like poo. I know, maybe the outfit or something. Or your butt. <laughs> We've had a lot of changes around here recently. We now have four kids under the age of four. Ella is four. Bentley is one. And the twins, Silas and Stella, are now four months old. And we've got our cranky 17-year-old, Lana. Ella, my little pooty baby, started school. That's a huge transition for me because Ella's always been my little sidekick. Bentley had his first birthday, and he's walking all over the place. And Bubby's is so sweet with the twins. He loves to give them kisses. Oh, Bubba's, being sweet. And the twins, Stella Renee and Silas Ray, we come up with their names because Josh's mom and uncle are twins, and so those are their middle names, which I thought was really cute. Me and Josh decided after the twins, that was it. Tubes, Tide, Bakery, shut down. I dare you, pretty girl. Stella, she's chill. Silas, he is one fussy, high-maintenance little boy. I mean, he acts a lot like Lana. You don't want the nana? Don't be like that. So at the moment, job-wise, it's more like a freelance thing. I just go and do general contracting here, a little carpentry here, a little painting here, and it works. I make decent at what I do, and the best part about it is I get to spend all the time with the kids. Here's a chip. I already know what's up. 
Which one are you gonna go for? That one. I already knew what was up. Look at that. Like a cow chewing cud. Nom, 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 nom. Hello? Are you up? Yeah, I'm up. Okay, well, you better hurry up. Yeah, Okay, bye. Y'all, this is gonna be a really good year for me. Me and Jalen are still together. We are going on a year, and this year is my senior year. I get to walk across the stage in a few months. I'm so excited. Alana, let's go! Ella's ready! I'm coming! So, oh. It's a cheetah. Russian, Draylon's coming to pick me up anyway. It don't well, matter. you need Who's to be on time when Draylon comes to get you. He needs to be on time a to get you. A man likes a woman on time. Well, you're never on time and Josh loves you. Shut up. Anyways, did you pay for my field trip? The last day is today. Uh, yes, I paid for it yesterday. OK. Are you ever going to wear those shoes, Mama got you? I don't want to crease them up. Wow. Useless. She gives us $800 a month and then blows $300 on some shoes that you're never going to wear. I'm glad Mama's finally helping with Alana, but here's the thing. $800 is nothing. Nothing when Lana wants her lashes done, nails, hair, shoes, her clothes. And what about if she wants to go out to eat with her friends? Senior dues, yearbook, field trip. Oh, I love her, but God, she's expensive. Well, come on, I don't have all day. Let's just enjoy breakfast. I'm not trying to ruin my appetite talking about Mama. Are you gonna hold my hand? Now you need to throw your ring on this finger. So I can go like this and Hey guys, guess what? Mama June's got some big news for y'all. I decided to get married to this lovely hunk of bunk. And you got a new hairstyle going on too. Well shoot, I gotta look more younger and youthful. I got a young man. And I got a cougar. <laughs> I proposed to Justin while he was in jail for a probation violation. He said yes. And on our six month anniversary, I drug his ass to the courthouse and we got married. You're going to be mine forever. I really do appreciate you taking me to breakfast this morning. Currently, we are living in Tuskegee, Alabama. Temporarily, because Justin needs to finish some probation obligations. I'm not gonna lie to you, Tuskegee is a really tough area for me. It holds a lot of triggers for me. I mean, I got locked up for drugs there in 2019. But you know, the girls do not know that we are living there, but they don't even text me back. So by the time they text me back, I'll probably be back in Georgia anyways. He's such a sweet, loving husband. I just like saying husband. I have a husband. Well, we had to go to breakfast because, you know, you take naps through, all throughout the day, so it's kind of hard to go to lunch or dinner. But, like, it really is, like, scaring me here lately. For the last month or so, I've been getting, like, these really bad headaches. Like, my ears start ringing, and I get kind of, like, foggy-brained, and then... I get kind of like dizzy. It reminds me of some spells that I used to have like a few years ago, like when I was in my addiction. You ready to be my caregiver? You're not a granny. I am a badass grandma. No, like, you know, 80-year-old wobbling around grandma. I do wobble. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I mean, I do have like forgetfulness. Yeah. Don't let me forget to write that check for pumpkin when I get home because, you know, can't be late. Gotta be able to have that check. Pumpkin blindsided me with some stuff in the uh, full custody papers. I was okay with giving her full custody because she's had temporary guardianship for three years. But now that, you know, there's $800 a month order for child support because I agreed to that. Not anybody made me. But since that has went down, I barely hear from the girls. And that's the truth. <laughs> I wish the girls would look at say, hey, you know, my mom's been doing good for three years and stop having to make me pay for the past mistakes. I agree you can't beat a dead horse, but so many times and right. nobody's perfect. So you're going to have to stand your ground and tell them, you know. Right. Hey, 
Come on. Hey, how are y'all? Oh, can we just sit where we want to? You can. Right or late. Oh, wow. How y'all doing? Hello, how are doing you? Good. What can I get y'all to drink? Um, sweet tea, please. Uh, coffee. Okay. Are you all ready to sweet tea? I am blind, totally in this side, 2800 with this side. I cannot read a menu. You can get bacon, uh, ham, cheese grits, oatmeal. Who the oatmeal? I'm not that old yet. What do I have for dessert? I don't even think they got dessert. You bought me to a breakfast place and don't have dessert. What kind of dessert do y'all have? Uh, chocolate cake and apple pie. Um, I want some um, two scrambled eggs like with cheese, some grits, uh, one biscuit and gravy, and two orders of bacon. Um, biscuit and gravy and cheese hash browns. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You want me to read the menu? Yeah. I mean, I'm not your I told servant. You, I don't work for you. Okay, you are my husband. That doesn't mean I work for person. No. You're my emailer reader. You're my make sure we go to the doctor's appointment because I got to write it down now because I cannot remember. Like, um... See, you can't even remember. I can't. I don't know. I'll think about it. That was just, it's like... Thank you. You want a bacon? No. Mm. You know, sausage and bacon. Yeah. Protein. Yeah, high cholesterol. Remember when we went to LA to see about a second weight loss surgery? I don't think you're a good candidate for surgery right now until you have really spent some time dealing with how you cope with food. Look at all this junk you're eating this morning. It's just breakfast. You're stressing me out, so shh. Ben want to talk to you about something, too, to be honest with you. What? You know, this ain't, this ain't how I wanted this to go. Like, this whole marriage, you know? Like, and how it went down, like, that's not what I wanted. Like, that's not how I wanted it to go. What? You read the courthouse and signed the papers, too. Yeah, but that's just it. It was like, you asked me in jail, you know, it happened while I was in jail. Were you okay with that? Not really, to be honest with you. I was emotionally messed up, was going through some things, like, life isn't where I wanted to be at that point. You know, I just got out of rehab not too long before that. And I just, I wasn't emotionally in it, too. So you're not, you're telling me you wasn't emotionally, you're not emotionally into me? What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you knew when you got hooked up with me that I was blind. Now I'm having all these no. medical issues, so you're just like, oh, let's back out. I mean, no. what the are you like, you brought me to breakfast to tell me you wanted a divorce? Coming up on Mama June Family Crisis. Mm. You got to get healthy then, like I've been telling you. You're not, something's wrong. I didn't know what else to do. I had to call the ambulance on her. You at home? Yeah. I'm coming over. There is a reason why I haven't brought her over to my new place yet. Why are you looking like that? I'll tell her when I'm ready to tell her. Well, where's my child support check? Because it's not in the mail. We're dealing with some Why are you doing drugs? The new season of Mama June premieres Friday at 9 on WeTV. Stream every moment, Tuesdays at All Black.